boy, it is hot here. 78.4 degrees feels like uh, 81 degrees according to the heat index. It feels like 150 in my room. Um, Alright, week two of the NFL. First of all, we'll start off with Green Bay versus Detroit. Green Bay won 48 to 25. That was strange because um, when I looked at the score at around 7 minutes and 41 seconds, they were only winning by 2 points, 27 to 25. And then the next time I checked, they had won the game and the score was... Um, whatever I just said, 48 to 25, that was strange. I don't know how you put up 20 points in uh, 7 minutes. That's crazy. And it's not even like they needed to put up all those points. Usually you got teams that uh, do that when uh, they got to catch back up to the opponents, something that uh, the New York Jets needed to, to needed to do this week, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, Buffalo versus Jacksonville. Jacksonville was favored um, by Las Vegas, um, but Buffalo managed to win this game, twenty to sixteen. There was a lot of uh, people out on Jacksonville, but you know what? Um, oh well, a win's a win, and Buffalo's hot right now. Indiana beat um, Minnesota 18-15. to 15. Um, Like I said, other than the fact that they're an AFC team, so they're competing with, my, with two of my uh, teams, it's always nice to see them do well. Um, the New York Giants um, beat St. Louis 41-13 to 13 in a blowout. Um, then you have New England beating the New York Jets 19 to 10. Um, I got to see the end of this game. Um, when I came in, it was still 3 to 16, I believe. And Brett Favre put a score on the board. I don't know what was happening when I wasn't watching the game. It seemed like they were doing at least okay um, when I was watching them in the break room for about 30 minutes. And then. I went back to work, and then I got home, um, went home, watched them do one good series, and then they kind of just fell apart. Um, Brett Favre got a nasty sack. I, I don't know what happened there. Um, and I don't know if I can say that I was upset by that, or if I was hopeful with that play. Because um, the Patriots came after Brett Favre, and Brett Favre stood up, stayed up for a good amount of time while he was being grabbed on by uh, the Patriot. But then he got pulled down. And um, my concern is that um, Brett Favre tried to fight it off, and he did his in his attempt. He did a pretty good job, but. It was at a certain point, it was pretty clear that he was going to go down. And I don't know, maybe th there's a, uh, a penalty in doing this, but I'm not sure why he didn't try to get rid of the ball. Um, it was, I believe, more than a 20-yard sack, so I cannot imagine that a penalty would have hurt them. Uh, um, if it's from the line of scrimmage. Because, like I said, it was more than 20 yards, and you know, you throw the ball away uh, down onto the ground, and uh, I don't know. Then you have uh, Philadelphia versus Dallas, which is Monday. I didn't realize it was Monday until I just checked that out. Um, my boss is a big Dallas fan, so I thought that Philadelphia must have lost since he didn't bring it up, but. Obviously, they didn't lose because they haven't played yet. Um, who do I hope wins that game? Philadelphia, because Dallas is going to win a lot of games this season. And the Green Bay Packers, my favorite 
Uh, I don't even know who my favorite team is right now, to be honest. You got a... Uh, it's probably a toss-up between the Green Bay Packers and uh, Brett Favre's New York Jets. Um, so, yeah. That was week two of the NFL, minus Monday night's Dallas versus Philadelphia game. I'm not sure if I will or, or won't make a video on that. Like I said, I'm not, a hu I'm not huge into um, either of those teams, so who knows. Alright, I'm out.